Um, everybody's trying to make their own mask now and it's hard to know what the best material it is. Sometimes people want to use something like a sock because it seems thicker and they think tissue paper is useless and it's just all very confusing. But the bottom line is the size of the holes within the fabric and what can get through. Now, a virus is only 0.2 to 0.3 microns. We don't have anything that small that I can test with. So I just have some flour here. And let's just see at least what the flour gets through as a, as a rough guide to give you guys a visual of um, when, what people are talking about when they say that a fabric that's tightly woven, like this sheet fabric here, is probably gonna be better than something that's made out of knit like the sock. Um, but let's just do that experiment and see what we get. So this is my trusty vacuum cleaner, and I'm gonna put this little dark um, piece of fabric on here. So I need a vacuum cleaner, the air is coming through and it should be nothing else. Um, so let's see, let's start with our sort of gold standard. This is two layers of just a good uh, quality cotton sheet. If I put it over here, I don't expect that much of this flower is gonna go through this and onto the dark blue one, but let's see. I got it to stick on it, so it was now people when they're when they're breathing, they don't breathe in that hard. But let's see, did anything get through? Okay, so that's our gold standard. It looks pretty clean, right? So let's put this aside and get a new one. I think a sock is a popular one, so let's do that one next. So I'm gonna cover this again, and then put this sock here. The nice thick part of the sock. And see what that looks like. That looks pretty bad, right? Okay, so no socks, huh? You can try a thinner sock, double layered. I don't know, I've seen all kinds of things out there. So again, put a new piece on here. Um, here's another sock, put on that. Let's see if anything got through. A lot did, right? So that's the sock. Let's try, um, fleece is a very, again, popular one that I've been seeing. I think it fools people because it looks so thick. Well, let's see, this is a piece of fleece here. I'm just gonna lay it over there. And let's see how that... So that was pretty porous as well, right? Again, viruses are way, way, way smaller than flour. Um, let's try flannel. Flannel is a kind of cotton, so it shouldn't be that different from the bedsheet cotton, but it, it, sometimes it's not as tight and it's very fuzzy, so it gives you the feeling that it's thicker. It's decent, I think we're going to find, but it hasn't been as strong as the tightly woven regular um, 200 or so. Uh, let's see what the fleece looks like. tiny bit, right? So it's pretty good, but not maybe as completely clean as the um, as the regular sheet. All right, I'm running out of strips here. Okay, here's another one. Let's try the, uh, the tea towel is supposedly a really good thing. I've been hearing a lot of that. It's pretty tight. It's a little hard to breathe through. It's very thick, but... Some came through that after all. I suppose not all tea towels are created equally, huh? And then let's try all the paper items now. This should be fun. Let's start with humble toilet paper. Two, is this one sheet? No, two, it's just two pieces of toilet paper. Or two paper. got through that. This is 
toilet paper. So that's why if you put a piece of toilet paper as a filter, it really actually does a pretty good job. Let's try um, regular paper towel. This is two layers of that. Just regular Kirkland brand or whatever we got. filter is next. Just a regular coffee filter paper. Um, these two layers, but I suppose people are using one layer, so let's do one layer. clear. Um, I mean, way better than a sock, right? And this paper thin, as you can see. I mean, you can remember, like, most surgical masks are actually made out of paper, right? So it shouldn't be a huge surprise. Um, and there's a, been a craze of trying to buy vacuum bags and HEPA filters. And just remember, HEPA filters are made out of particulate, like, micro fibers of glass, and you don't really want to chop that up and then breathe it in either. So be careful what you're what you're breathing through. And here's just regular home tissue paper, like Kleenex, um, which is, I suppose, why people use it when they have a cold. It works pretty well. Okay, so all the paper items work better than the sock or the flannel, as you saw, um, and the our gold standard really didn't let anything through that we could see in terms of the flower. Remember, viruses are much smaller. This is not to say you can walk into a COVID-infested area and just, you know, suck up a virus through any of these things and you'll be okay. Um, but for walking down the street and six feet away from people, um, it, it should work pretty well.